let us now discuss about lasers. The term laser was first introduced by Mr. T. H. Mainman in the 19th century. T. H. Mainman introduced the concept of lasers in the year in 19th century. Next, let us get into the introduction part regarding laser. First of all, let us discuss about, let us try to understand about the acronym of laser. The acronym of laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So this is the acronym of laser. L stands for your light, A stands for amplification and S stands for stimulated, E stands for emission and R stands for your radiation. So if a particular light gets amplified by a process called stimulated emission of radiation, so this is the process involved in the functioning of a laser. Now let us try to understand about, you know about light. Light is nothing but certain amount of particles which are grouped together which is transformed in the form of an energy so which is getting radiated out. So that we normally understand about a light and amplification. So let us try to analyze about the amplification. This amplification is a process, is a process in which it deals with signals. As far as the definition of amplification is concerned, it is understood as the process of conversion of weak signal to a strong signal is called amplification. So normally we make use of uh, Example, we make use of amplifiers here. What does an amplifier does is, especially in public addressing systems, its usage is better understood in terms of public addressing systems. Normally, the intensity of sound which is emitted by a, a human being is of very much lower order. If at all, you are there in a particular auditorium or in a stadium, and if there are no barriers as far as there is no kind of a border and if it has to be reached to many people generally we go for this particular kind of a device called as an amplifier here the intensity of the sound signal whichever is supposed to be weak gets converted to a strong signal so that is the basic characteristic property of an amplifier so amplification is the process of conversion of weak signal to a strong signal this method is been adapted in the functioning of a laser. So that is the main process involved in the working of a laser. After amplification, the other term is stimulated emission of radiation. You know regarding the concept of radiation, we normally take sun's radiations into consideration. So for this particular one to understand regarding stimulated emission of radiation, we should know about the concept of radiation and its interaction with the matter. So now let us get into that particular topic of interaction of radiation with matter. The concept is regarding interaction of radiation with matter. Now in this particular concept, interaction of radiation with matter. Something that exists in the universe is referred to as a matter. Now, when such kind of radiation is interacted with the matter, so what does it result? So that is the concept over here. Now, this is basically explained in terms of uh, certain substances which atoms are supposed to be involved. 
here the atoms are supposed to be interacted with radiation so during the interaction of radiation with respect to atoms there are three processes which are uh, involved the resultant of that particular interaction is uh, understood in terms of three processes and those processes one of the processes is your simulated emission now here we say that during the interaction of radiation with matter and three processes three processes are evolved or involved they are number one is stimulated emission number two spontaneous emission we are talking about the third one third one is we understand in fact about in terms of uh, absorption this is with respect to stimulation or we can say it as stimulated absorption absorption with respect to stimulation or stimulated absorption so these are the three processes which are involved in the functioning of a laser and these are evolved because of the interaction of radiation with matter obviously with respect to atoms now let us try to analyze it in a brief about all these three important processes which are involved in the functioning of a laser so the first one is let us talk about stimulated absorption now now why we are talking about stimulated absorption this is based on the energy level diagram in that energy level diagram we take it as suppose that we know that in every case of a substance whether it is a conductor insulator or semiconductor or in case any other kind of a substance there exists two levels one is the lower energy state the other is the higher energy state now here we consider one such case of that same kind this is the lower energy state of one certain atom and this is the higher energy state so this is lower energy state this is higher energy now for this process we are saying absorption so what is happening in this kind of an absorption let us consider that there are certain number of atoms which are present there in the lower energy state now radiation interacts with respect to this atom because of this radi involvement of uh, radiation with respect to these atoms they absorb certain amount of energy generally we say in terms of the radiation photons are supposed to be evolved which carry an amount of energy e is equal to h so these are emitted one so the light is emitted in terms of photons that amount of energy carried by a photon is given by e is equal to h this amount of energy will be absorbed by the atoms which are present in the lower energy state they will absorb that amount of energy why because to move from one energy state to higher energy state they require certain amount of energy so the case regarding the energy which is sufficient for them to move from higher energy level to lower energy level is what we consider it as the energy state of a particular atom now these atoms they are moving on to the higher energy state so we don't know about how much amount of energy is grasped by these respective atoms but the amount of energy which is involved in terms of its uh, grasping or absorption is e is equal to h after absorbing this energy only they keep on moving on to the higher energy state this amount of energy which is required is done with respect to a process called as stimulated absorption 
Stimulation means to give. Absorption means to absorb the amount of energy so that it is utilized in moving from one energy state to another energy state. That is, we can say that from moving from E1 to E2. E1 is a lower energy state and E2 is the higher energy state. So, as far as the definition is concerned, stimulated absorption is defined as the amount of energy the amount of energy required by the atom to move from lower energy state to higher energy state is called stimulated absorption. Now, here the atoms will be moving on to the next state. We don't know at what state it is going to either stay in the higher energy state or come back from the state. It's uh, nothing to do with respect to the stimulated absorption. But we know that the atoms are not going to stay there for a too much amount of a time there in the higher energy state. Now, for that, the next part of that one which involves in that particular process, we get on to the next two states which are stimulated emission as well as the spontaneous emission. Next we have stimulated emission. Here. Now this is also explained on the basis of energy level in that. What we said here is there were two energy states which were uh, there for a particular uh, substance in that some amount of energy was absorbed so that it can move to the higher energy state. Now here also during the interaction of the radiation with matter or with respect to the atoms, the atoms are going to absorb the amount of energy and they will be there in the lower energy state, later on move to the higher energy state. Now in moving from lower energy state to higher energy state, the number of photons of energy which is the difference between the energy state E2 and E1 is supposed to be released before it carries on to the higher energy state. This particular amount of a process which is involved for the atoms to move on to the next state liberating certain amount of photons is what we call it as the stimulated emission. So we say that stimulated emission is the amount of energy required for the atom to move from lower energy state to higher energy state releasing or liberating photons of energy E is equal to H nu is is called stimulated emission. So this is the process regarding stimulated emission. So as far as the energy diagram is concerned, it is similar to what we have done in case of stimulated absorption. So similar is the case with respect to this. There we are saying that it is to be moved to a higher energy state. But here the state is completely specified based on the kind of substance which we take. So now this is moving on to the next state like this. And during this emission process, photons of energy of the order of E is equal to H nu is supposed to be liberated. Photons of energy are supposed to be liberated in this reaction. So this is what we call it as the stimulated emission. 